welcome to the Illread knowledge base. For fall arrest in work safety, lanyards with shock absorbers are used. They exist as I systems or as Y systems. What is important to know is that falling to two parallel shock absorbers causes a high risk of injuries due to the high accelerations. To test critical heights and masses, we do a test series here in our test laboratory. The first test shows how shock absorbers with tear webbing generally work and how they are getting tested. Here you see the test setup in the free fall tower. A mass of 100 kg falls from 4 meter falling height to this catch plate. The catch plate is connected by the shock absorber with the load cell. Here we see how the mass hits the catch plate, the tear webbing breaks open and by that absorbs the energy. Here we see the force time graph of the test. The maximum force lies at 4.8 kN, which is created by this single peak. The average braking force lies between 3 and 3.5 kN. According to the European standard, the maximum force shall not exceed 6 kN. Now we test a setup with two shock absorbers in I systems that are getting used parallel. We use a lanyard of 50 cm to simulate a height difference of the two attachment points. Now the first absorber can open for 50 cm, then the second absorber is getting loaded and starts to break open as well. Here we have the graph of the second test. We see the maximum force now lies at 9.2 kN, which is created by this single peak. Here in the first part of the graph, we can identify the first 50 cm braking length in which the single absorber is working. Here, the second absorber gets stretched and starts to break open. The braking force of the second absorber gets added to the braking force of the first absorber. The average braking force now lies at 7 to 8 kN. For a person with 100 kg, this means an acceleration of more than 7 g. Injuries due to the high accelerations are more than likely. The best solution to avoid this problem is the use of a Y lanyard absorber. These systems also include two lanyard arms and therefore allow point-to-point -point progression. But in the event of a fall, in any case, only one absorber gets loaded and the braking force therefore stays constant. Also, the distance between the anchor points does not influence the braking force. In case two eye systems need to be used, it is important to keep the potential falling height as low as possible and the vertical distance between the anchor points as big as possible to avoid the parallel loading of the two absorbers.